Hey y'all, Elche here. Welcome back to Chase Forge. Being that tech guy, I get asked all kinds of things. What is the cloud and how does it work? How can I build my own PC? Can I use a PC monitor on a console? And why are USBs different colors? Well, the last one I'm gonna answer in this video today. Let's go. Hey y'all, I wanna thank you guys for clicking on the video. I hope that I'm able to answer the curiosity that brought you here. So let's get to it. Why are USBs different colors at the end? Aren't they all USBs supposed to be the same? Simple answer, no. All right, like always, stay healthy, stay safe. Wait, you guys want more? Well, it becomes a much more complicated answer past that. The different colors are a visual representation to let you know the transfer speed at which that port or cable is able to move that data or information. White is the oldest. It is normally associated with USB uh, type Gen 1, which had transfer speeds of 1.5 megabits per second. It released in January of 1996. With a 1.1 revision in 1998, which gave it a possible speed boost from 1.5 megabits per second to 12 megabits per second. We came with two port types, A and B. A is very much still in use. Whenever you think of USB, that's probably the port you're thinking about. And type B looks like this. If you would probably recognize it, if you guys have bought a printer recently, it's that connection. During the 1.1 revision, these new things were coming out. They're getting more popular to be able to make calls when you're away from home and send messages. They would be the next big thing, but they were starting to get smaller and smaller, so they created the Mini A and Mini B cables. The USIF, IF which means Implementers Forum, is a nonprofit organization which oversees the promotion and support for USB. They saw that everybody was pretty happy with the speeds and cables for a few years. But as phones started to get more popular, more powerful, and had more information to share, 12 megabits was not enough. This saw the creation of USB 2.0 in April of 2000. This allowed for backwards compatibility with the older version, which ran at 1.5, low speed, full speed, 12 megabytes, low megabits per second, and the new high speed of 480 megabits per second. All four connector types were able to be moved forward with USB 2.0, and a revision added more lanes for better connectors in 2001, which added mini AB, micro B, and micro AB. This made for abundant speed and plenty of connectors to be used on all kinds of devices for many years. But once again, a boom in technology where we were transferring bigger files, taking better pictures and better video, saw that 480 megabits was just not enough again. And of course, the cables were just not small enough and were not lasting long enough. So time for a new port and a new cable. Enter USB 3.0. In 2011, with the introduction of 3.0, so did a new port and a new plug. USB Type-C and Micro B Super Speed. With the new standard, it would bring a new max speed of up to five gigabits of transfer speed that was called super speed. Just three years later, 3.1 would be released, doubling that speed all the way to 10 gigabits per second. And that would be beaten again in 2017 with the USB 3.2 that amazingly jumped again two times, going from the previous 10 gigabits of speed to the now 20 gigabits of speed per second. These speeds would only be seen on type A to A connections, say, like a fast USB thumb drive from a type A to a type C or from type C to type C. In August of 2019, the USB IF released specifications for USB 4.0. It once again was able to move the max speed from 20 gigabits to 40 gigabits. While staying backwards compatible with the USB 3.2 and 2.0, the first ports using these connections are Intel's Tiger Lake, which is out now, and AMD Zen 3, which will be out November 5th. So there we have it. We have white, USB 1.0, oldest, slowest, at 1.5 to 12 megabits per second. Black, USB 2.0, not bad speeds at 480 megabits per second. Blue, which is USB 3.0, which can carry a max speed of up to five gigabits of speed per second. Teal, which is used in USB 3.1, which has speeds of up to 10 megabits per second. And then we have 3.2, which gives you up to a 40 gigs of megabits per second, but only available in USB Type-C to Type-C connectors. And lastly, with USB 4.0, it will only be a Type-C connection only. I know, I know, someone's gonna say down below already, but Carlos, I've seen other colors around. My motherboard or my PC has a different color one, like a red or a, or a yellow. 
That's because red or yellow indicates that it will carry power, whether your, your computer or device that you're connecting it to with that color is turned off or on. Last we'll talk about, there was some green plugs for Qualcomm's Quick Charge, purple was for Huawei's, and Anchor, Samsung, and others have accessories that use different colors to implement their special charging powers. And if you've ever seen some orange ones, those are probably attached to an industrial hardware, which is made to last longer, which means you can connect and can reconnect a lot more times, and has probably power going to it. I do want you guys to remember, if you're ever gonna connect different colored ones, it will only go at the speed of the slowest one. Doesn't matter if that's the plug or the cable. So if you're connecting a USB thumb drive that is blue to a PC, make sure you're connecting it to a USB 3.0 or higher to save you a lot of time. Like always, stay healthy, stay safe. Elche out. Now, let me get back to these Prime Day sales. I do love coffee. This is like my third cup today but it is like the middle of the night, 2 a.m. when I'm filming this. Cheers.